If you asked everybody in an ideal world, what would you like? We would obviously like um, the national manager to be a person of this nation. Most definitely. Right? I think the majority of people would conclude that. But I think there's a large percentage of people that just want the best man for the job. Now, as you're highlighting there, we've been highlighting the pathway to try and create the best man for the job to be from this nation. And as we pointed out on many occasions, we did it on last week's show, I'm not going to keep going over it, the stats are damning towards English managers mm-hmm. when we're talking about winning at the very, very highest level of our sport. You've just been pointing out some points there as to whether they're getting those particular opportunities. The the answer is absolutely not. Mm. Is it because the the level of the person that is available to those clubs is uh, is of a shallow pool of yeah. what they're picking from. Mm. And that comes back down to what our man Joe was saying, what, five, ten minutes ago when he was on the show going, well, hang on a minute, there's a big pool of us here. We all want in. We want to get in. But- we all want in. We want to learn. We want to grow. Not every one of us is going to try and get to become the national manager, but some of us might want to become a League Two manager or a yeah. National League manager or something and like that. And you never know what can grow from that. Exactly. But the opportunity is not there, mate, because the door is slammed shut because, one, the cost to entry is absolutely ridiculous to be able to do it. And even if you have the money, you might not be able to get on the on the list to get an opportunity at the FA to go. Because there's, there's a waiting list. We've got a waiting list, mate. <laughs> it's a waiting list. We're, we're, we're backing up with all these other people six, here. Six, seven years down the line. Might not be here in six, seven years. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. mate, it's hard. It's hard, mate. It is hard. Matt, is hard. welcome to the show, Matt. How are you? Hello, I'm, I'm, I'm good. What do you want to say, buddy? Um, so, so yeah, so I do agree with the grassroots point in terms of creating more opportunities for English managers, but I think it's 2024 and I think, to be honest, Tuchel is the best appointment right now and I think we needed someone to get us over the line. Like the last tournament, we were just there. Gareth's kind of built that stability, built that kind of uh, route for, mm. for us to get over the line. We just needed someone to finish it off and I think Tuchel's the perfect man. All right, that's so, where I'm at. That's where De- I'm at. Devil's I agree a- with Matt. Just, Devil, just, Devil's just, advocate. Just to put it on the line. I know. I agree with Matt. I, I know. Everybody Devil's knows advocate. That. Go on. All right. Yeah, yeah. We get to another final. We don't win. What? Do, where do we go from there? Well, it's I, 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 I don't know. But too cool for now is perfect. It looks good. Think, it looks great, doesn't it? I, yeah, I think for now is perfect. I think. Maybe in the future, if it doesn't pan out right, we then go down the English route. Maybe at that point. Well, we were there. We was on the English route already. And we and no, we jump ship. Like we we'll get we we'll get a manager that's actually ready and and has proven themselves. Maybe that point, I don't know. Eddie Howe's won a trophy. Maybe he's won an FA Cup. Maybe he's won a. Do you a have to? Cup. Do you have to be able? Do you have to win a trophy to to qualify to be in the England manager? Is that is that what everyone's saying now? Is that what it is? I think I think with this crop of players, they need someone who has that experience of getting over the line. That's a key but point. I, what what, I, I what, think, what I think Matt's just said there is a, is a real key point, right? You have got lads in that team that are used to winning at the very highest level. Lads that are playing for City, the lads that are playing for Real Madrid, Liverpool lads that have been winning and playing under the likes of Jurgen Klopp, people that they look to that touchline and they go, I believe in that person because that person has been there, done it and got the T-shirt. I think these lads in particular need to be able to look to the touchline and go, well, I believe in what he's saying because he's managed to get a right. team over the line right. in a European Cup final. So why? Hold yeah. on, Scaloni. Did he? Was he? Did he get no, no, any? No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, wait. no. Uh, I'm talking about these lads in this England team. There's a lot of ego in this England team, mate. A lot of it. So there's no ego in the Argentinian team. No, what? That won the World Cup. I'm just saying that these lads that haven't won with the national team that are used to winning with their club team need to be able to look to the sideline and go, "I believe in him. I believe yeah. in what he's saying." Yeah, hundred percent. So what I'm Tuchel saying, but I'm that. saying the same with was Messi looking at Scaloni on the sideline and said, "I believe in Scaloni." Now Messi just did it himself. Oh, <laughs> here we go. Here Messi we go. just did it himself, man. Mate, no. his mates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scaloni yeah. for Argentina hadn't won pit. anything, bro. Come on, listen, right? Come that, on, that Argentinian team, right? Yeah, you're telling me that the manager was running that gaff? No, he wasn't. Messi was running the gaff. Why do you say that? Because, come on, right? Uh, he was running the gaff and he told Spani- all his, uh, Spani- all his okay. mates were all in on it. Okay, the Spanish team. But, but it's, it's the, the Spanish team. Like re- Fuente? Yeah, yeah, Fuente? Right, yeah. hang on a minute. What about, so, yeah, well, so, hang on. on. Two minutes ago, we were talking to Joe, right? Yeah. The, the process to entry for the Spanish coaches is a lot easier... Yeah. than it is here in England, right? So the yeah, depth... I'm talking about your point, though. Your point yeah, saying but the, they have to look to the bench to see someone. Was they saying that for... Wait a minute, wait go a minute. On, go so, on. So, so Spain, very similar to what England was supposed to have done, set up a pathway, didn't they? They looked at previous failures in, Europe, in European and World Cup tournaments mm. and went, 
Right, we're sorting this out. Yeah. We're going to set up a pathway. And the pathway was all these coaches that you that have this nice point to entry. They can come in. They, you're learning the Spanish way, lads. You're learning the Spanish way. All those players that you're referring to came through the Spanish way. They came through that Spanish way. Under 21s. All that. All right up. So they've all come up together. The coaches have all come up together. Everybody's in it together. That was the difference between this right now. Because right now, this lot are all playing at a very, very different level, all around, all in these wonderful, wonderful sides. And they're looking over to the geezer on the touchline going, I don't believe in what he's saying, mate. I don't know what's going on. Mm. This lot need that focal okay, point, uh, in my so, opinion. All right, then. All right. Forget the English manager, yeah? What about a manager that has won a World Cup or won a Euros? That's won something like that. Why don't you go for them? That's actually got the experience of doing that. Tuchel ain't got the experience of winning a World Cup or Euros. <laughs> Drop mic. No, no, not at all. Uh, but it's true, though. It's true. No, he because hasn't, what happened? Listen. He's in the same position no. as everybody else. No, listen. Because he has never done it before. Listen. So he's yeah, won but... domestically, but he hasn't won internationally. Right, listen. So go and get someone that's done it internationally. Right. Different kettle of fish, yeah. mate. And that is a, listen, it's a valid point to make, but... You have to treat England as a very different opportunity to every other nation. You have to. Why? Because everybody else is used to want winning and they have a different attitude and a different mentality. So how did they get to be used to winning? And our league is very different to all the other domestic leagues in and around Europe and the world. Mm. This is a very, very different proposition here. Massively different proposition. Well, we'll, get, we'll see. We'll analyse see. the players. Look yeah. at the players that we've got. We've got talented lads that are used to playing at a certain level under certain managers. Mm. They're used to be spoken to in a certain way. And mm. looking at that manager thinking, I believe in what this fella's saying. Tuchel, if they can't believe in Tuchel, then there's a problem in there. Come on. There's what? a problem with the players. If they can't that's believe in fair. it... I don't think that's fair. Yes, there is. There might be a problem with Tuchel. You don't know. It might be a Tuchel thing. If they don't win it. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's not... You can't say that. It'll be the problems on the player. It might be just the same thing. He, doesn't get it, he couldn't get it over the line. It can't just be just the player. Do you know what I mean? Like, Tuchel hasn't got experience of winning a World Cup or a Euros. But he's, he's still in the same position. But, but he's won the European Cup. That's good enough for me. <laughs> It's not. It's domestic. It's different. It's not. It's won the European Cup. It's domestic. Domest it's, it's European Cup, yeah, but it's still a day-to-day -day when you've got a team every day. Like, now we're talking about tournament football that you don't even really know these players. It's, and knockout, what it's knockout football. He's used to winning knockout football at the All highest right. level. Okay. No problem. Yeah? No, I, I ain't saying no more yeah? on this subject. <laughs> I'll see you in 18 months. <laughs> Voice from Dirk Technique, baby. <laughs> The Sports Bar with Jamie O'Hara and Jason Cundy. Monday to Thursday nights from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.